Hey everyone, I'm Zinnia. Hey, I'm Eric. And today we wanted to show you how to make this fruit slicing game in Octo Studio. Cool, let's get started. So I will tap create new project to get cool, started. Cool. And yeah, then I'll tap choose a sprite and you can pick whatever you want the first fruit. Ooh, so many options. Right? Uh, honestly, kiwi Loki is like the, the cutest, most adorable fruit. Honestly, I <laughs> love it. Okay, nice. And then, then yeah, then you can choose whatever you want your backdrop to be, mm -hmm. you know, anything you want. Um, we found this wood panel image, which I think oh, is nice. Oh, so nice. Right? Um, so yeah, tap accept. And so then you got your fruit. Okay, I don't know if I'll keep this in, but I'm going to <laughs> edit the kiwi and I'm going to uh, make the shell darker so that it pops more. Okay, I love it. Yes. I think we'll keep that in. Yeah. Let's keep that in. Nice. That nice. does pop. That does I, pop. I appreciate that. Right? Nice. Right? Exactly. Uh, so, right. So, then you've got your fruit, and then, uh, so during the game, we want the fruit to be sort of jumping up from the bottom of the screen, mm -hmm. and the player has to tap on it to sort of slash it. Mm -hmm. um, and so, so, I'll drag the fruit to the bottom. Cool. And then to make it sort of jump up from the bottom, we can use the Jump block. So I have a jump block to make a jump. It's pretty perfect, <laughs> you know? Uh, so I'll drag that out, and then, yeah, and then I'll just tap on it. Okay, right. that's not super high of a jump. We should probably, that's an impossible game. <laughs> it's a pretty short jump. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, then you can tap in here, and you can, you know, put in whatever you want the height of the jump to be. So like, I'm gonna try like 90, let's see. Uh, that's pretty that's good. That's good, that's better. Let's let's it's bump better. it up Maybe just a little bit. A little bit to like 100. I like that. I think that's getting to be good. Yeah, so obviously you can pick whatever you want for your game. Um, so yeah, so then uh, how about we, if we put this jump into a forever loop, then the object will always be jumping. So now if I attach that, okay. okay. Not bad. Not bad. Pretty simple game. <laughs> Pretty simple game. Uh, kind of goes, goes always to the same place. So yeah. how about we make it so that, you know, before it jumps, we'll have it go to a random position. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. So I will go to the uh, motion category and I'm going to drag out a go uh, to the go block. block. Yes. Okay. And so to set up the, before the jump, I will say go to, and let's just try this. I'll put in go to random and I'll have it oh, go to random at lightning speed. All right. It's like going all over the screen, which is probably not what we want. Yeah. We want to pin it like to the bottom. Yes. Yep. Like we yep. want it to be going to a random position from the bottom, yep. basically. Yeah, so yeah. so the way you can do that is if you tap on the go to block to edit it, tap on this part, um, here there's X and Y, and X mm. is you know the position from this side of the screen to this, and Y yep. is like the height. And so we want the X to be random, but we okay. want the Y to like always be zero. So to do that, you can tap on this X and just put a random in X. Oh. And so now it will, let's try it out. Now oh. it goes to, a random position. I love that. But it's always on the bottom. Yeah. Cool. Uh, so I feel like if I was playing this game, it's like it's always kind of jumping, like one after the other. We should like let's let's add some weight. Yes. Give the player some time. Exactly. So, so you don't know when it'll be coming. I'm gonna attach this weight at the the bottom here, uh, and that's like better. I think that's a better gameplay for the user. And then um, I noticed that like it's it's not hiding, and so the player knows exactly where it's about <laughs> yeah. to jump. So let's let's let's, let's try to hide it. So once it's done jumping, let's have it hide. So it's in hiding and it's waiting one second, and then we have to have it then show at the top. Mm, right? Yeah, because now it's just staying hidden. Okay, so let's let's run it. It's hiding, waiting one second, showing. Great. So now that the player has no idea like what's about to happen, like where it's about to come up. And I was really inspired actually by your randomness because I feel like some of my favorite games there's always like some element of like you don't know how high it's going to jump, you know. So, so maybe we can add a random block into the jump. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. In that's in that's in the more blocks category. Yeah. It's a dice. Yes. Okay. Dice. All right, Zoe. So the jump is at a hundred. I think it'd be fun. Let's go down a little bit. So like ninety. Yeah, like sometimes it's a little lower than that. This is like a mega high jump of like. Uh, 180? 180. Yeah, because I feel like over 200, then you're jumping like off the screen. Off the screen. Yeah, 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 yeah. That makes so sense. So then I just like put it in here, right? Yep. And then. Perfect. So it's, uh, that's like tiny jump. That's like, that was so <laughs> cool. I feel like 180 is like probably as high as you want to go. That was so cool. But that was perfect. Um, let's also maybe the weight. It's always one second, so you kind of know like, okay. But, but let's, let's keep like him guessing. always need to wait one second. Yeah. Let's keep him guessing. Let's do like a, like a super quick one where it's like, Point one second, mm -hmm, so it mm -hmm. could be like right after the other jump. And what do you think for that one? I don't know, like one point nine, like it could go almost 1. up to 9. two seconds. Okay, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I feel like anything longer than that. So then I'll just put this in here. Yeah, perfect. Okay, super high jump, quick short jump, longer wait. That was another quick one. 
That one is pretty long. I like, okay, I like this. It is, yeah. there's like a lot of variability. Yeah, yeah. I dig yeah. that, I dig that. And like in your game, you can experiment around with different numbers. I mean, you could yeah. have it be that it has to sometimes wait 10 seconds between jumps or wait whatever. five minutes. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Don't do that. <laughs> or, <laughs> or do. Or, or do. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, but nice. Okay, I feel like the, how do you feel about the jumping? Like the, I dig it. Yeah. I think I, good start. I think this is a really good solid start. And obviously, as you say, as we're saying, you can change it as you want. Um, but yeah, let's now make it so that when the player taps on the fruit, it like slashes it and makes mm. it disappear. Mm -hmm. Um, so to do that, the, since we want something to happen when we tap on the fruit, mm -hmm. we can go to the when to start category and there's this block when tap. And so I'll drag that out. And so now we can make something happen. Nice. We tap on it. Um, what should happen? Uh, okay. So maybe we'll have it like hide to start. Okay. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Tap yeah. on it and disappear. So visually you see. Yeah. Like you see it like slashed away. So I will drag out a hide block. And so let's, okay, let me see if I can actually do this. So now if I tap that. Uh, I tap, okay, one second. Uh, let's just <laughs> pause the game. And so now if I tap on it, it okay. hides. Actually, maybe I will make it an even quicker hide. So okay. it, it, Whoop. Blah. So, <laughs> so you're pretty much cheating. I'm pretty much completely cheating. So you're pausing cheating. the game just so you can see you run this block. Run okay, block. I got you, I got yeah, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> totally not cheating at the game that I just yeah, made. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, so then if I tap it, okay, that's like a quick that's hide. That's a good speed. Yeah, I, I like, like that. that. I like that. So, so, um, and also, I feel like we should have a sound effect. Like, oh, for sure. You know, to like a slash. Um, so I'm gonna drag out a play sound block, and there's a sound chomp, which is fine, but I think that we should have a more like. Yeah, what's that? There's a swish. Yeah. There is a swish sound. There is a and... swish sound. It's called swing. Let me. Oh swing. yeah, because it's like the uh, the what do you call it? The golf club, uh, yeah. baseball bat. It's, that's nice. Okay, let's try that. I think that's that's great. And so, um, let me just. So that, you didn't cheat again? Cool. I'm going to cheat again. Uh, nice. Okay, cool. So, so that seems like a good sound. Also, I'm, if you noticed, it played the sound and then mm. it hid. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to set it to, instead of play sound until done, I'm going to set it to play sound and continue. Because cool. that will make it oh, play it the, the sound. Oh, at the same time. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's at, nice. And immediately start hiding. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Okay, well, let's, let's just try it out. Give, give it a shot. Give it a shot. Uh, oh, you nailed oh, it. I got it. That was good. That was too, no, too fast. Ah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Nice. I love it. Nice. Okay. Slash. You know what? You know what this game needs though. It needs score. It so does. Let, let's 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 add score to this thing. Yes. Uh, so that's in more in more blocks. There's these three variable uh, blocks. Let's grab change. So change score by one. Where should we put this? Maybe like when we tap, the first thing that happens is the changing score. Yeah, that makes sense. Like immediately you get a point as yeah. soon as you tap. The one it. thing in my mind is I always I want to then have a score reset. Because yeah. if I like hand to a friend, I want to make sure that it starts at zero points. So exactly. I'm getting points. Yeah, exactly. So I always get in the habit of Gotta doing this. Got to earn the points. Yeah, I'll, I'll actually pull out this set variable block. And I want the first thing to happen in our program is set that score to zero. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So yeah. Let, let's, let's, let's try, try it out. out. So boom. I'm kind of nailing Oh. oh. <laughs> I was supposed to be doing it. I'm not nailing it. So then if I hit the green play button, I can then hand to Zoe and she does it. So Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and, yeah. and no points. So in fact, let's, let's see how I can do. Uh, okay, one. All right, you're too good at this. Yeah. All right, we get it. We get it, so no showing them. But anyway, I think this is a great start to a project. Yeah, the, and so, yeah, that's what we wanted to show you. And there's like tons of things you could add to this. I mean, you could add more fruits and that have different wait times or like are worth different amounts of points or just like more areas or whatever mm -hmm. you like. We're also gonna make another part where we will show if you wanna have like a slicing animation when the player slashes the fruit, Ooh, we'll show you cool. how to do that. Cause that cool. is, can be really I don't fun. wanna do that yet. I'm looking forward to that video. Yes, anyway, oh my gosh, I can't wait. We're super excited to see what you create. Yeah. Um, I'll see you in the next video.